What would you say um, one of your biggest mistakes that you made in coaching? What is something, a pitfall I should avoid? Great. Like, like something, a, like a plague. Ever asked one like I need to avoid that, like the plague. Yeah. And it, it is absolutely kind of related to what we're talking about. Make sure that that guarantee goes both ways. Meaning, mm. look, at first, I should have fired the client. Right? I, they hired me month to month to month. But it was not going to end well. And I knew it month one or month mm. two. You already saw it, the writing on the wall. You're like, this, and, this is not going to work. And when I first started, I have a wait list of 400 and some people. Mm. Not everybody's all going to get on my wait list either because I know that they're not in a position where I feel comfortable and confident in guaranteeing the quantitative value. Right? Mm. Some guy's not ready for me. So not only do I have that big wait list for one-on-one, but you know I have a group that's really inexpensive that I can guarantee anybody can make money off of. And it's a virtual group that meets on Monday. So I have buckets. And then even for people in a less advanced state, I have free Friday training. Right. Right. For over 24 years, almost 25 years, I've been doing these free Friday trainings. So creating the buckets, but also being able to tell someone, hey, this is not working out on my side. Right. You're wasting my time mm -hmm. and not being afraid of losing the monthly fee just because someone sees emotional value. If you're not bringing the quantitative values, like not being aligned with values itself, it's going to end poorly. And they're going to blame you. Mm. I promise you, when people don't do the work, those are the type of people that go below the line in the blame, shame, and justification. And all you're doing is hurting your brand mm. because someone's going to say, oh, he's a shitty coach. Oh. And what are you going to say? We didn't do the work? Mm. That's good. So do you have like a formal, you know, some kind of agreement that says basically like, hey, there's a guarantee. But uh, I guarantee you also, if yeah. you mess with, if you, if you it's slacking. a month to month, <laughs> two, it's a mutual month to month agreement. I love it. I call, I don't believe in agreements. I believe in memorializations because I'm not going to enforce anything, right? You want your money back. It, it, we don't have to go to an agreement, lawyers, all I've gone that route. All that is a waste of time. Mm. I'm a man of value and integrity. Right. And if you feel as if you didn't get the value or I was not living in integrity, I have no complaints. Mm. You can lie and make up something and say, you know, and most people do. Most people quit because they can't afford it or they're not doing the work. Mm. And I don't, I used to get offended by it. Now I'm like, it doesn't matter. You could tell me, Dave Meltzer, I don't like your Travis Matthew hoodie and I want all my money back. No problem. 